friends so today we are going to talk about diploma in tourism studies dth program so we are going to talk about the ts06 unit 21 my name is parikshit and i'm going to talk about tourism marketing what we are going to discuss today is the region cities and leisure spots uh, students i'm going to talk about the introduction first and as you know that most of the tourism activities that take place at a destination have emerged as a fundamental unit of analysis in tourism and that's a very very important perspective Tra uh, travelers as you all know have variety of available destination choices from the supply side that is destination marketing organizations at different levels and they, are, they all are trying to compete uh, for the high tension and highly competitive marketplace destination competitiveness and attractiveness has been a very very important aspect and it is being constantly looked at and is being worked at uh, another major concept that you need to know with is the introduction is concerned is tourism marketing tourism marketing is a marketing strategy that uses specific marketing plan and techniques to promote touristic products and services such as destinations hotels transport services etc it is a term which is used to refer to that business discipline by which the visitors are attracted to a particular location which can either be a state a city a particular heritage site a tourist destination leisure spot a hotel or alike so they all can be uh, the ones which can be attracting the location can be any uh, can be any which has the potential for attracting a tourist who comes to visit a place and experiences uh, well uh, what i would like to say is tourism marketing is already associated with lots and lots of marketing strategies uh, let's start with destination marketing well destination marketing is a promotional activity you know product price place promotion so one of the p's of marketing that's promotional activity that it is uh, uh, connected to what it tries to do is it tries to promote a destination where tourist activities will take place attract customers by portraying the unique features of a destination and trade them as services united efforts are being made by multiple businesses in a particular destination looking towards the benefit for customers destination marketing helps in increasing the number of visitors in the tourism sector as well as the economy at large it helps in increasing job act opportunities and provides similar like opportunities to many people or many stakeholders over here destination marketing strategy with the highest return on uh, investment ROI so uh, now what I'm going to brief you about is that which marketing strategies which destination marketing strategies we need to have which can provide you the highest rate on investment so one of the first strategies is to build a collaborative local network of suppliers what I would suggest all of you you should look at or once you go, get a job in a DMO you are working for a DMO build a collaborative local network of suppliers that's an important aspect to what what we mean is take all the stakeholders along with it and these suppliers could be your uh, travel agents these uh, suppliers could be travel agencies these travel could be association suppliers could be the association of these travel agents it could be the hoteliers or the association of hoteliers try to look at whatever number of suppliers that are working with you and Take them along become a local uh, become a local marketplace that's a very important aspect there's about 40 percent more op bookings by opening up online portals for booking and it is profitable for dmos and dnc as well so look at your local marketplace trying to work it up try to try to build it up power of tourism content marketing campaign so this is what we have we need to focus up this is what we need to build up and this is what we need to discuss now what i mean over here is that the content marketing campaign power up tourism whatever you your marketing campaign is be it your brochures uh, be it your pamphlets be it your advertise advertisements that you're showing on print media or on television or on radio or the jingles that you are building it up local content is very important paramount it's paramount to have the local com content on board and try to showcase that local content because what happens is eventually a customer is only attracted when he sees what actually is there at that particular destination uh, well uh, if we talk about destination management and marketing if properly employed it will lead to reduction of risk through strength in number and incorrectness within and across destination so that's an important aspect efficient and effective exchange of resources for perceived mutual benefit the generation of increased visitor flow and positive economic impacts now let's come to an important aspect that is factors that affect marketing in travel and tourism which are the factors which you need to work on which you need to look at as a dmo as a manager of a dmo as a, a person working in a dmo how you need to build it up how you need to look at so one of the major factor is events now destinations have special events like holidays 
on all these aspects now events could be uh, for example in montreal we have festival of laughs so that is very acceptable event musical events you have festivals various for example in georgetown we have in penang we have a georgetown festival this festival is very very accomplished festival which is like so try to promote these events try to incorporate these events and try to build such like events that's an important aspect it's just not that there would be there, there are some events which are accepted but then it is also sometimes what happens is you as a manager of a dm also have to look at the fact that uh, what how we can market our uh, destination so you can create events for that particular destinations uh, the destinations could be related to varied aspects seasons now some lots and lots of destinations are seasonal also or season dependent for example in, in Jammu and Kashmir you look at uh, Gulmarg or Patni top uh, snow or winters is the season when there is a lot of snowfall that people like to throng to these particular places if you talk about the beaches then people like to go when there are uh, when it is good for surfing or when they can do a certain uh, type of things over there so these seasons also play a very very important role so try to showcase for which seasons your destination is acceptable your destination is going to be a good one where your people where people would like to visit that destination and come over development a marketing campaign is typically launched to announce its new presence as a destination on the world stage now if you are a dev key markets are selected in which marketing is responsible for creating interest so development in these particular destinations how developed these destinations are how well they are working how how they are growing is an important aspect and that developed stage show, showcasing that developed stage will also help in the growth of the destination promotion of tourism marketing now uh, there are there are two ways that I uh, talk about it and they, which I always talk to my students and I try to tell them how to promote uh, tourism marketing one is forming tourism partnerships that's a very important aspect now what you should do is as a as a manager of a DMO as a person working in a DMO forge partnerships and these partnerships can be uh, private partnerships these pa partnerships could be public private part uh, could be public partnerships but these partnerships could also be PPP public private partnerships which are the what I'll say which is an in thing and which are very very acceptable which people these days are looking forward to and trying to work on this these partnerships help maximize our marketing revenue and reach a broader and more desirable audience uh, when promoting tourism for a given destination so that's a very important aspect that we talk about partnerships amongst stakeholders partnerships of a DMO with the stakeholders partnerships of a DMO with the hotelier organization or with the travel agent organizations are bound to help you grow the second aspect aspect is travel and tourism trade shows well participation in these travel and tourism trade shows is a very very important aspect and what you should try to do is that you should go and uh, attend these travel and trade shows go to these top travel and trade shows for example we have uh, we have uh, ITB Berlin goes on WTM World Travel Martin uh, London is happens every year ITB happens in Berlin uh, in Germany and lots and lots of traders are there lots and lots of um, advisors of tourism industry are there lot of lots and lots of affiliate organization of tourism are there in fact representatives from UNWT are present over there so going there participating in that then also have helps you in a big way advertising in trade publications yes trade publications what I mean to say is the the series or the books or the magazines related to tourism that are they are referred to as trade publications or to hotel or hotel industry or uh, hotel magazines or other brochures which are there related to hotel industry so they are very very important get try to publish in these particular things try to advertise in these trade publications try to have some articles supplemented uh, in these particular trade publications that will help you to grow that will help uh, what 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 it will actually do is that lot, lots and lots of uh, trade sellers have their eyes set on these trade publications and they'll be able to look at that what's going around within these particular trade publications we have social media and influencer marketing another strategy well social media you know these days social media is, uh, is an in thing and uh, during the pandemic and the post pandemic uh, what we have seen is that the virtual space has taken control of things social media has become a very very big influencer uh, lots and lots of people try to leverage social media they try to put on lots and lots of online videos uh, they use YouTube they use other channels they use Facebook uh, they use uh, what we call whatsapp they, they try to upload lots and lots of content online which is related to their destination so try to see to it that you also manage to post this content online which can help you to grow 
well what are the steps to successful destination marketing a uh, very important aspect uh, we always keep talking about the fact that how we need to build up successful destination marketing how we should look at the steps uh, through which we can go through and we can have this successful destination marketing the first step is identification of markets and targets so very important aspect a paramount aspect for you is to identify the markets and targets that you have so this identification of markets and targets is going to be very important for example if you want to uh, cater to the uh, european market so you should look at what uh, what what which segments of european market you want to work on for example you want to work on hungary you want to work on uh, if you are if you are talking about inbound tourism so you want to your guest coming from germany or from hungary or from budapest only or or from uh, croatia and or from uk so if you are looking at so identify your market and identify the target segment that you are looking at that means you are looking at people with a high income group uh, people or middle income group people so what sort of group of people that you are looking at and how you are thinking of seeing to it that they are able to uh, come to you the second step would be identification of customer needs and wants so as you know needs and wants are very very important aspect why does a customer want to embark on a journey or on a trip or would like to go for a uh, would like to go for uh, to visit your destination why would he come for whether he has those adventure needs whether he wants to do that mice aspect meetings incentives conferences or exhibitions whether it is going to be leisure tourism whether it is going to be related to pilgrimage so identify these customer needs and wants that's going to be a very very important aspect because if you are able to identify what are the needs of these customers and what they are looking towards it's going to be a very important aspect the third step is batch tourism products with uh, selected target so you have to see to it that whatever tourism products for example if you have a good space where, you, where a lot of people can do adventure tourism they can do for uh, uh, river rafting or mountain climbing and all that so whatever your sele selected uh, targets are see to it whether they match or not you have to see to it that, that they match with them they try they are acceptable by accepted by them and they start working on that particular aspect study your competitors another important step is to study your competitors you need to know that what your competitor strategy are what try to do a sort of your competitors try to see to it what are their strengths weaknesses what are the threats that they have what how do they, how, how do they try to market their product how do they try to develop their product develop tourism product which is symmetrical to that of the selected targets this is a very important step now sometimes what happens is our tourism product is not directly in sync with our selected targets so that's a huge gap in between try to see to it that you try to work on built up and uh, reduce this gap to and keep it to the minimum develop and implement a marketing strategy usually what happens is we are able to develop a marketing strategy but we are not able to implement it properly effectively and efficiently that's a big big loss for people so you have to develop a strategy but you also have to implement that marketing strategy monitor results now what happens is we always constantly or uh, uh, keep looking at the fact that we need to monitor our results feedback is an important aspect of ours so if you are not able to monitor your results if you are not able to keep a uh, check on what is going on obviously there will be lots and lots of flops so what you have to do is constantly keep taking feedback whether you have achieved the targeted results or not whether you have come up to the targeted results or not that is going to be a very important aspect so students uh, the next important thing that we need to talk about is uh, destination competitiveness the competitiveness of a destination refers to its ability to compete efficiently effectively in the marketplace and be profitable at the same time so how competitive your destination is that's a very very important aspect and that needs to be understood and built up the successful management of a destination involves a balance with an increasing need for sensitive environmental management capabilities so kindly note it down it's a very important aspect its ability to manage its natural uh, and man-made resources effectively over a long period of time that's a very important aspect destination marketing strategy is to attract more visitors so how do we attract more visitors what could be the uh, 
basic strategies or the uh, what could be the actual strategies for a DMO to attract more and more visitors. So one very important thing is define the USP. That's the, your unique selling point. The culture of the location is its unique selling point and visitors would want to travel to experience local events, museums, sports, clubs and more. So define what your unique selling points are. Try to showcase these unique selling points in your brochures, in your mm, social media campaigns, in your other campaigns, in other your promotional brochure. Try to uh, showcase your unique selling point, but also try to link your unique selling point with your uh, with your travelers. The segment, the group of people who are visiting you, try to showcase them that what your unique selling point is all about. Promote destination on travel websites. So when you are looking at destination marketing strategies to attract more visitors, you need to promote destination on travel websites. Travel provi uh, websites provides a perfect solution and that's, this could include international websites, for example, TripAdvisor and all those websites which can actually uh, work up, which can actually build up and which can help you in in building up things so destination management organizations and economic development organizations they have a miss uh, they have a, uh, a match with each other and you need to look at that how these work create a responsive destination website so lots and lots of organizations lots and lots of uh, travel agents or lots of DMOs make a mistake. They don't create a website which is responsive, which is dynamic in nature. Usually their websites are very, very static and their response rate is very, very slow. Because you know, uh, these days uh, uh, people are very fast and they're, they're working on internet. They are all uh, uh, 24, 24 by 7 online and they're consequently developing, getting new sources of information. So your competitors might catch hold of your, uh, your, uh, your clients or your customers. So you create a responsive destination website where whenever a, a person or a client or a customer asks for a, a uh, has a query or asks a question you get can give immediate response to them that response is going to be a very very important aspect so you need to uh, take care of that you need to show that and you need to build it up in such a manner that people are able to understand and people are able to look at it so create a responsive destination website that's an important aspect offline promotional strategies so Look at what your offline promotional strategies are. Some destinations attract visitors in the summer months while others attract for winter. Some of the offline methods you might include use include television advertising, radio advertising and promotion with newspapers and or magazines. A system approach to tourism marketing. So how do we have a systematic approach vis a vis tourism marketing is concerned so it's a it's a cyclical uh, sort of a thing where we keep working on one or other thing and where we have a constantly a cycle moving around and working on so in that you need to be very clear of where we are uh, now or where are we now so that's a very important aspect that you need to look at that where are you now and how things are working and how things are building it up you also need to understand when you are building up a system approach, where would we like to be? Where would you like to be? For example, if your revenue at this moment is around about 100 crores uh, an year, you would like your revenue to be 150 crores. Or if you have 10 million visitors this year to your destination, you would want 20 million next year. So where would we like to be? That's an important aspect. How do we get there? So you had 10 million visitors. Now you want to have 20 million visitors next year. But how do you get there? How do you get these visitors? How are you able to develop these visitors? That's an important aspect and that needs to be looked at and constantly worked at. How do we make sure we get there? That's an, another important aspect that, okay, we, we feel that we make a strategy that how do we get there? Okay, that's fine. But how do we make sure that we actually are able to achieve our results and how we are able to build them and understand them and grow? How do we know if we go there? So that's another thing, a systems approach that how do we work on that? How do we build it up? And how do we actually achieve all these things? So that approach is a very important aspect. Stages in the evaluation of tourism marketing. So now we also need to know about what are the different stages through which we want to evaluate 
uh, our tourism marketing and whether it has been able to work up or not one is the first thing is marketing orientation the needs and wants of the visitor are the first priority for the marketer so that is an important aspect the marketing orientation is an important aspect and it needs to be looked at sustainable tourism development an approach to marketing that focuses on the satisfaction of visitors needs and wants while respecting the long term interest of the community that's another aspect that we keep looking at societal marketing orientation marketing organizations recognize that they have a responsibility to society and local communities as well as to their visitors well i'll give you a few examples of tourism destinations for example valley of flowers national park the remarkable landscape of the valley of flowers national park in the garhwal region comes alive with the monsoon rain so that's that's one one of the very important examples of a tourist destination where we see that uh, lots and lots of visitors can go there visit them the high altitude this himalayan himalayan valley has around 300 different varieties of alpine flowers which appear as a bright carpet of color against a mountainous snow capped background so this valley of flowers national park is a very important example which is very acceptable and people usually like to go there and visit and uh, it it has its own variety because there are around 300 different types of alpine flowers which are available over there and these have a provide a bright a bright carpet uh, of color uh, and the best part is it's against a snow capped background we have red fort the red fort attracts large number of tourists for its uh, architecture history for its sheer magnificence that's an important act, aspect the red fort is one of the most popular tourist destination in delhi it is significant tourist destination in the country because it shows the power of mughal history which ruled over different time limits that's an again a very important aspect and it is this is one of those destinations which is very acceptable uh, in jammu and kashmir there is dal lake it is the most beautiful lake in kashmir and is surrounded by natural beauty landscape and water bodies the house boats and shikaras are its main attraction well marketing of regions cities and leisure spots the development role of marketing and socially responsible uh, marketing must be given equal weightage and they should be incorporated at the initial stages of the tourism development this should be done in an efficient way and not just keep the commercial angle of revenue generation in mind well aspects in marketing of destination what do we look at various aspects in marketing of destinations we region city or leisure spots that we have one is the attractions attractions is a very important aspect which we we'll, uh, which we look at which we people are very keen on following and looking at infrastructure uh, accommodation cuisines etc you know a lot of people travel around to just to eat good things or accommodation for example they would like to travel and uh, stay in house boats in dal lake or kashmiri wazwan they would like to eat or they would like to go to maharashtra to eat each the eat the maharashtrian cuisines so these all are very important aspects uh, of marketing a destination accessibility roads means of transportation that's a, that's a very important aspect because lots and lots of people want to go for example there might be some places which are accessible uh, through uh, through railways uh, or uh, trains small gauge trains so people try to travel on those trains or uh, just for the Uh, just for the enjoyment of that or the roads uh, the the winding roads a lot of people would like to travel by winding roads or by ferries they would like to go by a ferry and see to it carrying capacity of the des- destination whenever you market a destination your carrying capacity is a very important aspect carrying capacity students as we all know talks about the fact that that what is the maximum number of people a destination could hold without causing any sustainability issues so carrying capacity of the destination is again a very very important aspect environmental issues uh, for example uh, uh, pollution eco fragility etc are very important aspects which uh, people uh, which you should take into account while marketing safety law and order situation both for the local population as well as the tourist as we know lots and lots of places uh, these things create a hiccup and these things cause a lot of problems and that's that's again need to be looked at well what are the ways, various ideas to market a destination what what do we look at and how do we think that we should market a destination well creating a tourism marketing plan that's a that's one of the basic ideas that we keep looking at that how do we market a destination and how do we develop it 
and how do we grow defining the unique selling points that's that's again something that we we, we should uh, take a look at and that we should see that how we should work on defining target audience and market that's again a very important aspect that we keep looking at and that we keep thinking that uh, this is another idea that uh, you should be aware of while marketing your destination while market your destination utilizing data for analytics is another an important concept that you should take into account while uh, building mark ideas to market destination branding destinations branding is again an important aspect that we need to talk about we need to keep looking at and keep seeing to it the fact that we are able to brand our destinations properly involving stakeholders this is again as i uh, talked in my, uh, earlier also that uh, public private partnerships involving pu building partnerships trying to see to your all stakeholders including hoteliers including travel agents including hotel companies tra uh, travel companies they should be taken into account involve them involve them in strategizing things involve them in building things and involve in then how things are working and building it up highlighting what's new in area that's an again a very important aspect that you need to know that you need to see and work on online link, uh, online advertising strategies again a very important aspect that we need to see to it and that we need to build up create an amazing destination website as I already told you uh, uh, online being presence is a very important aspect that we need to look at that we are building and constantly looking at so create an amazing des amazing destination website which is responsive which is attractive which is uh, which is which is which actually uh, gets people involved search engine optimization that's an important aspect try to use the keywords which are most searched by people so people are looking towards those things and they are actually willing to optimize uh, uh, find out your website through that experience marketing experiential marketing is a very important aspect which is picking up it's a new uh, new sort of a strategy which uh, which uh, most of the dmos are employing where they are trying to ask people to come and experience their things video and virtual reality marketing so again the point is that try to create Create as much presence virtually uh, in fact nowadays uh, in these pandemic times people have also started creating videos of museums zoos which they are trying to show and where they try to virtually showcase what is available with them and attract people social media strategies that's a use of Twitter use of Facebook use of Instagram use of uh, YouTube is it's a very important strategy which people are lo looking at work with influencers There are lots and lots of influencers within our domain who are working who are building up things So work with these influencers try to show them what your destination is all about promote your destination on travel websites As I already so told you look at travel publications look at things which are there and they need to work on Offline promotional strategies are also very important. They still have their relevance and they are still accepted and people like them and people are looking towards them. Well, what are the challenges in marketing a destination? Catering to a small niche crowd while engaging guests. That's a big challenge that we face. Uh, you need to create a strategy where you can cater to these small niche crowds, but you have to keep them engaged all through. Increase profits while focusing on the customer. So that's it. You need to give maximum benefits to the customer, but your prices have to be very, very competitive. So how do you increase your profits? That's a big challenge for you attracting customers in a crowded marketplace you, you have to see to it when there are 10 similar sort of destinations around why would people come and visit your destination so that is an important aspect increase sales beyond the tourist season so as i told you that some destinations are only purely for summer some are for winter some are for rainy season so how do you increase your sales beyond the tourist season so how can you extend your tourist season that's going to be or that is again a very important aspect competing in a rapidly shifting market place so people are constantly shifting from one place to another from one destination to another so how do you compete how do you work on and how do you build up that is an important aspect what are the solutions to these problems create an independent voice and a brand the more independent your uh, brand is the more uh, chances of you getting more and more people around is going to be there enhance customer experience provide a amazing customer experience or a different customer experience that's going to be a very important aspect create amazing travel experiences so that's again important aspect engage with your customers and create their travel experience leverage contextual marketing widen your digital footprint try to 
be uh, built up your presence on as many digital uh, sites as possible broaden your demographics and the best one is know your audience the more you know about your customers the more you know about your consumers the better it is for you and better understanding it is going to have for you conclude uh, and in the end i would like to conclude by saying that we can say that india is a multi destination country marketing of regions cities and layer spots should not be done by only keeping in view the commercial angle of the revenue generation but a blend of both the profitability as well as giving back to the society and environment state tourism departments in india should come together in promoting regional tourism which cuts across boundaries in order to derive mutual benefits so what we are trying to look at it what we are trying to see to it and what we are trying to think about uh, over here is that there are lots and lots of solutions to your destination marketing strategies destination brand building strategies which you need to have and which you need to uh, focus on but building up uh, online presence building up virtual presence is actually going to be the crux of things that is going to matter a lot but it's just not that you should have only online presence but your offline presence also matters a lot and how you have that offline presence how you build up those particular things how you make use of your uh, trade journals and all that that uh, you as a dmo a manager of a dmo is going to be important and there are so many social media platforms that's an important aspect show your presence increase your network on the social media platforms try to see to it that your presence of all these social media platforms is there thank you